now before us the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, here the 28th chapter. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb, and suddenly there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angels said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here for he has been raised. As he said, come see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead and indeed is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to Jesus and took a hold of his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Wow, after a story like that, this would be the perfect time. The perfect time for the children to come forward. For the children, come on, come on, this is the perfect time. I brought the perfect way to remember and think about that great. Marvel, the best, the best story of all time. I brought, I brought a great way to remember that. I have a box here, and there's something about this box. I have three ways of remembering that great story. You know the story about Jesus rising. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Have you learned that one already? Whenever you hear somebody say, Christ is risen, you... The answer is, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. Isn't that... I, now, it's a wonderful story, and I guarantee you, it will take you your entire lifetime and a little bit longer than that to come to realize the great meaning that that story has for you, has for me, has for everybody in this room, and has had for people for now like almost 2,000 years. So we should think about how we're going to remember that story. So I brought with me a box, and I promised you three ways of remembering that story. Okay? Do you remember the story? The story had a stone in it. Do you remember the stone? You might remember all the way back to... to to last week when we heard about the stone being put in front of the tomb to seal up this tomb. tomb. So I brought a stone with me. Here it is. Who do you want to, who wants to, I know it looks like a great skipping stone, doesn't it? Like you could just give it a, that would hurt your shoulder if you weren't careful about that. No, it's a stone to remind us of the stone that was put in the way, well, the way of anybody who would want to get to Jesus. And do you remember the stone was rolled away and an angel came and sat on it? Like it was going to get up if the angel didn't sit on it. I just love that in this story. Ah, and so when... The women who came to see Jesus, when they came to see his grave, 
Jesus, and they met Jesus, he gave them instructions. Do you remember what their instructions were? Well, I brought this to remind you. If you had a microphone, do you think you could tell a lot of people something? Jesus gave the women instructions to go and tell. They weren't supposed to keep it a secret. They were supposed to tell. And, and one more thing. One more thing. The really, oh, it's maybe my whole, on this whole day. I mean, I like the stone. I like to go and tell. But the big part about the surprise the big part about the surprise is the last thing here. What do you see? What is this box? What is it? Who said empty? Who said it's empty? And so was the tomb. Will you say a prayer with me? Dear God, dear God, thanks for your love. Thanks for your love. Your love, your love, that comes all the way to us. That comes all the way to us. Thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for giving us Jesus. And thank you for raising him from the dead. Thank you for raising him from the dead so that we don't ever have to be afraid of anything. So that we don't ever have to be afraid of anything. Not heavy things, not heavy things, not things far away and hard to say, not things far away and hard to say, and not things that are empty, and not things that are empty. For all these things, all these things will remind us, will remind us of what you've done for us on this day. What you've done for us on this day. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. And all of God's children said, Amen. Thank you so much for coming up. I really like the way you pray and help me remember this great story.